Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Hurricane, and we are back today for some Madden 15 Ultimate Team as I jump back into head-to-head -head seasons, but that'll be after I show you guys a few additions to my team. I've made a couple changes, one that really hurt me. Andre Ellington has been uh, one of my favorite players to use in Madden thus far, but it was time to make an upgrade. I'm a little worried. I haven't played a ton of Mutt lately. I've been doing a lot of slider testing and stuff, so I wanted to make some additions to the team so that if I get into a matchup against uh, some strong ultimate teams that I have a little bit more of a chance. So I upgraded to a Niall Davis, whom I look at him a little bit like Darren McFadden. Not like uh, a disappointing draft pick, that kind of status, but more of he's a guy whose physical traits make him perfect for Madden. N Niall Davis is big, fast, and physical. A lot like Darren McFadden in that regard. But um, Niall Davis has a Team of the Week card, and I upgraded to that 92 speed. You also have the 90 trucking. Oh, I got this Marshawn Lynch, but I'm not going to be using those free cards. I'll still be using Andre Ellington behind him. Otherwise, oh yeah, I got a new fullback, Greg Jones, as I wanted to work more out of the eye until I get some better playmakers on offense. I needed a better run blocker. Will Tukuafu was not cutting it. And uh, you can see 77 run block. And if he gets the football, 88 truck and 95 stiff arm. Not bad. Let's go to defense, where I have my favorite cornerback from this year's draft of course i'm a vikings fan so i hate to see him wearing blue and orange it's kyle fuller who has had a great first three games of the season three interceptions and i have his team of the week card i also picked up a casey hayward so uh two corners from rival teams because i have to bolster the secondary somehow and i have captain here so it's a it's an nfc north secondary or cornerback crew i guess then we got ezekiel Ansah here to represent the detroit lions decided to put anthony barr on the bench and he'll rotate in in my uh, four defensive end nickel package along with everson griffin otherwise the team is the same and i am four and four in my first season of head-to-head -head season so i'm looking to make the playoffs and i gotta get some w's to do so let's jump into my next game now, in my last month video, I mentioned a giveaway that's run by G Fuel for a copy of either Madden 15 or FIFA 15, as well as a 40 serving tub of G Fuel, and that is still going on, so you can click the link in the description below and check that out and enter to win a copy of either Madden or FIFA, in addition to the tub of G Fuel. If you're interested, that's in the description below. But now, let's shift focus to today's game here in TCF Bank Stadium. Let's see if I can get a victory today and move to 5-4 and four in my head-to-head -head season. As the crowd is excited, they're all jumping up and down. Y'all need to settle down. Here we go. Blair Walsh. Kick us away, please. Boom. And this will go about three yards deep in the end zone, and here he comes. Let's go, Tiny Titan. You're a lot bigger now. He broke a tackle. Okay, 84 with dreads on a kick return. So my opponent has... Wow, I was not expecting this. Matt Castle. Marshawn Lynch, that free one. Eric Decker, Danny Amendola. He has Cordero Patterson buried down here. What are you doing? You got to use him to your advantage. Joseph Fourier, 6'7", and that's a problem. Why is he starting Matt freaking Castle? Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's the rest of his team. I think I have the edge on paper, most definitely. Let's go. Okay, so Matt Castle... An ultimate team. Let's blitz the hell out of them. Castle's throw is caught. That's a quick gain of eight. We're about to see how realistic this game is. If, if Castle has like two batted passes at the line, we're in a good spot. But he gets Macklin the ball again and not Cordero Patterson as he takes this jet sweep for 11. We'll see if Ansa is going to be the answer to our... Uh, oh, he's on the field right now. But I wanted to get some more pressure. Great play by Levante David. Probably our team's best overall player. All right, we got to watch out for more of Jeremy Macklin, though. He's given the ball twice. Give me that! No! Casey! How did he catch that? Casey Hayward. What's going on? Sadly, I can't go into the instant replay right now to check. But he has Danny Amendola on the outside, covered up by Fuller. Wow, he had uh, that left receiver wide open. And he settled underneath for that quick two. Already seeing fatigue on the D-line, so here's our nickel package. This is not going to be good against the run. And that's exactly what he does. He runs the ball straight up the gut at the heart of our defense for an easy first down. 
He is spreading the field. I'm not used to this approach actually on Mutt yet. And he throws to the end zone! That is a touchdown! That was a beautiful drive that he executed. I gotta give him props for that one. Touchdown Mel or, uh, Michael Floyd, not Malcolm. And it's the ultimate team debut for Niall Davis. What are you doing there with your tackle? Apparently you got a big middle linebacker. Let's run. And I'm gonna run away from that tackle. It's Niall Davis busting off a nice 13 yard run on his first touch. Last video was all about Cordero Patterson. You're gonna see a good bit of him in this. Especially if he runs a lot of man. As we're gonna run it inside, Niall Davis, and that's some solid blocking for six. And we'll put Matty Ice back to throw for the first time. There it is, Core Daryl. That's him on a slant. And that should be a first down as the first quarter ends. No, I did not get the first down. So, newly acquired. Greg Jones on the carry. And he's got some running room. I like it. 44 to the 44. 12-yard gain. Now I've set myself up for some play action boot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Matt Ryan deep! Ryan Timms, touchdown! That's not usually who the ball goes to. That's usually the last guy I would throw it to. Safety came down, there was no help. Tie game. And I got him to go offsides. I wish this was accessible on the kickoff, but uh, it's not. I really got to step up this tackling thing before I begin the Sammy Hollins series. Especially after tackling was a major part of his game in college. Anyway, quick throw. And this was against my quarters coverage, which is basically my way of keeping the ball in front. And if uh, players get too aggressive, then chances for a lot of interceptions. But that time he attacked it perfectly. I think this guy has been pretty smart on offense. So I'm going to give him a lot of different looks. And he's got Castle again. This time he puts it up and it's dropped. Eric Reed. All right, I've played a lot of games off camera. Or a couple. And Eric Reed drops everything. Eric Reed, you better get an interception. Unless he attacks Fuller, then it's going to be Fuller's time to shine. Throw. Fuller, no! That would have been the perfect time. All right, we're going quarters. I like this call here on third and ten. We'll see if it pays off. I have my, uh, this bad. Not good. All right. So uh, we're not going to do that again. Tax it short. And uh, we'll go now to our cover three zone. I haven't really blitzed him much because I'm respecting an offense when it, it works well. And Eric. Oh, wow. All right. That was my bad. He threw it just at the right time. This is kind of a fun offense to go against. This is a good test. All right, man blitz now. We're going to completely change things up. Come on, Donald. Come on, Donnie. It frees up. That is Charles Johnson. Exactly what I was hoping to do. And now we're going to back off again. Let me control Charles Johnson here. I don't think he can... Well, probably because I suck at that. That's intercepted. Thank you, Calvin Pryor. Oh, what are you doing? Go block the tackle so I can take it outside. Oh, whatever. I got the football. All right, we got the drags. You guys know what's coming up. And I actually like uh, Denario, but Matt Ryan apparently wanted to throw it well behind him. Still a good catch by Denario Alexander. 43 seconds left. Could be a Tavon or a Niall Davis play. Ooh. Yeah, look at that stop and go from Tavon. Yes, miss. Miss him too. Let's go, Tavon. He shook him. 20. Rolando McLean in pursuit, but he can't catch him. Touchdown, Tavon Austin. I wasn't expecting a score on that, but you can definitely code on user misses in this game. He missed a couple on that one. And I have taken the lead, fellas. Hey, if I can take a shot deep, that's all I'm looking for right now. 14 seconds. I can return a punt and run a play in that amount. Of, or, uh, I can do that in about 10 seconds, I think. Depends on how well this play goes. There we go. Not getting good jumps off the line. Uh-oh. Hit his quarterback. And Eric Reed. Thank you. I called him out. And it's an interception. Reed to the 40. Big juke. Okay. We're going to the end zone. Oh, uh, wait a minute. 54 yards of Blair Walsh. I got a kick. Here we go. 
Hey, not terrible. Walsh's kick up. And I missed it with Blair Walsh. Wonderful. I didn't expect to miss that kick. Anyway, seven point game and I'm getting the football. Let's get past the 21 this time. That, yeah right. Now last time I ran play action, it was beautiful. Play action once again, we're gonna play it safe. Whoa! Matt Ryan's good for one terrible throw game. That could have been great. And, uh-oh, uh-oh, Tims! Welcome back to the action. 20 yards on a first down. Hey, look who's back, everybody. Andre Ellington as Davis leads the way. Thank you very much. That was a great block in. Ellington spinning everywhere. This will be Davis again. He carries. I love the blocking on this play. And that's going to be a first down for Nile Davis. Now... In theory, it should be a perfect time to run play action. It should be. And it looks like he might be pressing. Run play action. Hate what I see. Nope. Gonna get rid of it. He might not be expecting this. Halfback toss crack. Here comes Tims. Get the block. He buried him on the outside. And Davis will be a couple yards short. The reason I run it left so often is because I run all my play actions off the left hash. So that I can bootleg. And do this. First down. Zach Ertz this time. And he basically tried to spear Cordero. I'll take it. And we're going to run a toss again. First one worked well. We're going to send Amaro in motion. And here we go. It's a race. Uh-oh. Made him miss it. Kyle Davis all the way to the end zone I like this guy Niall Davis with a great first game on my ultimate team it's a 14 point lead here in quarter number three test fuller test fuller I'm playing off now I'm gonna press I like my matchup oh fuller yes Kyle fuller interception at the 30 yard line Excellent debuts for both Niall Davis and Kyle Fuller. Back to Davis. And a gain of six. And now back to throw. Let's run. It's Matt Ryan on the run. Ah, no! I tried to slide! Greg Jones! Oh my god, I thought I was going to run for a touchdown. Okay. That was weird. I tried to slide. Okay. First down and ten. And we want six. End zone. Caught for a touchdown. Brian Timms. Cordero is kind of the forgotten man today. Timms has two touchdowns. We've gotten one from Tavon Austin. Niall Davis. Fuller's got a pick. Um, I think Eric Reed and Calvin Pryor each have a pick. It's been a fun day overall. Not a great day for the Matt Castle offense here. They had a fantastic opening possession. And now he's scrambling with Castle. That was smart, at least. I ran a contain on that last play. Didn't think I'd actually need it. But I guess good timing. And Castle's going to go along again. And Kyle Fuller makes it two. Block for me. Not a good job, Calvin. But Kyle Fuller may have just ended this game if it wasn't already over. And now a Rashad Jennings sighting. And that's a solid run for seven. We'll put him away and see what he can do in like 10 seconds. All right, maybe more than 10. I'm not going to run the clock anymore. That's boring. I'm up by 21. Let's just kick it. Come on, we're going to down this at the one. At the one, Captain. Oh, where did he come from, Cordero? Don't be doing that. I like this guy's offense early in the game, but he got too aggressive, and that's what I was counting on the whole time. And what's called oh, Kyle? Oh well, that's game, guys. You know, it may not be the best tactic, but if you just want to run cover four and test your opponent's patience on offense, you can have a lot of success. If they want to throw underneath and beat you that way, then you probably got to switch it up. But in this situation, when guys are too aggressive and you're just, you know, you're playing a very safe defense against deep throws, 
Uh, very easy to defend. So 28-7, that's game, guys. And that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And don't forget the Madden 15 and FIFA 15 plus G Fuel giveaway in the description below. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your feedback below in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.